you get yourself comfortable because now there's going to be a lot. Uh, I'm doing Puzzles by Suns out for this video. Here we go with Sunset Point Lighthouse. It's a fairly recent one. No explanation needed, I don't think. You can tell what this is about. All right. Time to go shopping at Queenie's Quiltery. This was a lot of fun because I got put a lot of different fabric designs and any kind of material you could think of. And I like to design logos and things, so that's where I made a nice little Queenie's Quiltery logo. You see she has it on her bags too. All right, moving along. Lake life, common theme. But who doesn't like to sit at the edge of a lake and relax? That's the whole point. All right, I think I mentioned this in the previous video that I designed a puzzle called Everything You Need. And this is it. Looks a lot like that other one, doesn't it? It's because I like doing it. I wanted to do another one, make it a little different. Good place to go shopping. And you can even buy merchandise. You can get yourself a General Store t-shirt. Next, from Sun's Out, as everything is in this video, Balloon Fest. Now, a lot of artists do these Balloon Fest pictures, but I challenge anyone to compete with me with the amount of detail. The fire truck down there, there is a whole town, which I gotta say, probably Probably spent four days just doing the town, much less the balloons. All right, next from Sun's Out. Another store, this time we are going for flowers. Zoe's flowers. I have a granddaughter named Zoe, and it's no coincidence that that's the name of this puzzle. Zoe's flowers. I think I have to design some Upside down Tiffany lamps on the ceiling. How about that? All right, next up from Sun's Out again. This one, I think may be the best selling one I've seen anyway, when I go to uh, Amazon or whatever. Life is better in a garden and it's a, it's a she shed basically. All the stuff that someone keeps in their garden shed, shed all the pretty stuff. Next would be, did I do the bakery yet? I don't think I did. I hope I'm not doubling up. I have a little confusion going on, but this is Lovin' from the Oven, which is a bakery. And I made up this crazy tower of cupcakes, which how phenomenal would that be? But they would have to keep a ladder nearby. And once again, I like to work with type and logos. So like I have a little expressions on the floor and up along the ceiling there. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Had fun with that one. I'm thinking about doing another bakery. I have some ideas, but that'll be coming. Bridge fishing. So-called because if you look far enough in the distance, there's people fishing off the bridge. And there's plenty of other things to occupy your eyeballs including raccoons and butterflies and everything you would want to see. Here's a little more. Peaceful lake, evening time with a light, uh, a lit footbridge. Gave it that name, footbridge. Still an evening time scene. Back to some more stores. This one is a pet shop where you can buy things that have fins, fur, or feathers. And I drove myself crazy with this habit trail going around the entire store. You have to be crazy to do that in real life, but I bet somebody's done it. And let me see, is there another store we can go to? I saw this one already. 
I'm gonna hold off on that. I think we may have seen it. How about a bookstore? Let's see the bookshop. This was a lot of fun. I made up all the books. <laughs> and I have uh, famous authors' names going up the stairs. Some of my favorite authors, some of my wife's favorite authors. And there's lots of little fun things you'll find if you get into the details of the books. Who doesn't love a bookstore? And you know when you do puzzles, there's always, what do you do with the ceiling? So this, this bookstore is very fancy with a catwalk around the upper level. All right, let me reach over here. and show you Seaside Campground, which I originally had a very uh, funny title in my mind, which was Seaside Cramp Ground. You see, because they're cramped. But uh, Sun's Out went with a more conventional name. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video because I have to see if I have more. Hold on. All right, getting a little more colorful now with the corner toy shop which was a lot of fun to do. I love those old pedal cars and uh, the pedal airplane, especially. Unbelievable, I would love to have one of those restored just around the house for decoration. They're really awesome. Uh, we saw Halloween, how about Has anyone seen my yarn? Why are you asking that question? Because the cats got into it. And a couple dogs. This was quite a project. How to make things look disarray and still hopefully attractive somehow. <laughs> and hopefully a lot of humor in there for you to discover when you do this puzzle. All right. Next would be much larger <laughs> out on the lake, which I think I originally called a uh, canoe crowd because everyone's in a canoe. And that's the theme of this one. Just trying for a different angle. And I think I showed you bridge fishing. Here is Peaceful Summer, where we have our dock to hang out on. And the dogs, they're probably frustrated they can't get at those ducks. All right, more from Sun's Out. Some smaller sets. Here is stopping at Dry Gulch, which is uh, a lot of fun. Nice colorful steam train out in the southwest somewhere. Ah, here is another rather silly farm. I thought I had might have done another one. This is called Wiseacre Farms. Everyone on this farm is crazy. Look at these goofy goats. Wise acres. Get it? All right. Halloween time. Come on in. A spooky house. I've done a few Halloween since, and I'm starting to add more color. I was happy with this one. I like the look of the house and the little skeletons are creepy, but I feel it's a little, a little bland, a little gray, right? I try to keep it exciting.